Hello everyone and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this particular episode of Witty Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of the VIT Triple exam based on the subject of chemistry. Let's begin, shall we? Let's look at our first question. The ionic conductance of Ba2 plus and Cl- are 127 and 76 ohm inverse centimeters square, respectively, at infinite dilution. You need to find the equivalent conductance in ohm inverse centimeters squared of BaCl2 at infinite dilution. So, how do we solve this question? Well, it's a good idea to understand what equivalent conductance or conductivity is. This is basically defined as the conducting power of all ions produced by dissolving one gram equivalent of an electrolyte in a solution. So that's what is equivalent conductance. So how do we find out equivalent conductance? We're given the ionic conductance of Ba2 plus and Cl minus. So basically, we can find conductance at infinite dilution for BaCl2, which is basically adding the ionic conductance of Ba2 plus and the ionic conductance of Cl minus multiplied by 2. So basically, that accounts for 127 plus 2 times 76. So 76 times 2 is 152. Add that with 127, and you get 279 ohm inverse centimeter squared as the conductance of BaCl2. However, this particular answer is for a complete molecule. So it uses molecular weight. Now, when it comes to equivalent weight, we've always known that equivalent weight is calculated as the, a fraction of molecular weight. So equivalent weight is basically molecular weight divided by 2. So therefore, equivalent conductance would also be equal to lambda infinity of BaCl2 over 2, which means it is 279 over 2. So let's divide that here. So 13 gives you 26. 1 remains, becomes 19. 9, 2 is 18. 1 remains. 5. And that completes it. So basically, the equivalent conductance of BaCl2 would be 279 divided by 2, which in this case is 139.5. So option C, 139.5, turns out to be the right option. And let's move on to the next question. If the elevation in boiling point Let's go back. If the elevation and boiling point of a solution of 10 grams of solute with molecular weight of 100 in 100 grams of water is delta Tb, this is our elevation of boiling point, by the way, you need to find the ebullioscopic constant of water, which is represented by Kb. So in order to solve this question, 
you would need to find the relation between the elevation and boiling point of a solution with the ebullioscopic constant of water. So delta TB basically stands for 1000, which is a constant, times KB, which is the ebullioscopic constant, times the weight of the solute divided by, and in the denominator, you would have the weight of solvent multiplied by molecular weight. So let's substitute the values. So it will be 1000 KB stays the same. Um, the weight of solute is given as 10 grams. And um, both molecular weight and the given weight are 100. So 100 times 100. So one zero gets cut out here. The three zeros gets cut out here. So basically, um, the final answer turns out to be KB. So delta TB, or the elevation and boiling point, is equal to the ebullioscopic constant of water. So therefore, among the following options, it is clear that option B turns out to be the right option. The other options have increments or uh, fractions of the same quantity, which is incorrect. So therefore, option B is the right option. Our final question for the day, given that H2O gives H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous, its um, enthalpy is 57.32 kilojoules, and H2 plus half O2 gives water in liquid. Um, Delta H is negative, by the way. So that's minus 286.02 kilojoules. Um, we need to find the enthalpy of formation of OH minus at 25 degrees Celsius. So basically, we take them as two equations. Equation 2 and the formation being equation one, the formation of water, and splitting of water being equation two. So we're going to add one and two. So basically, H2 plus half O2 gives H2O. Delta H equals minus 286.02. And the second equation is H2O gives. H plus plus OH minus, and here delta H is 57.32. Now when we add the equations, you get H2 plus half O2 plus H2O, left-hand side stay together, and the right-hand side is, again, H2O plus H plus plus OH minus. So since there's one water molecule on both sides, that can get canceled. So therefore, the final equation would read H2 plus half O2 gives H plus plus OH minus. So since this equation makes sense, we're now going to um, add the enthalpy of formation. So it's minus 286.02 plus 57.32. So 57.3, by the way, 57.32. So what we're going to do is um, basically um, subtract 57.32 from 286.02, which is basically the same thing as adding 57.32 to minus 286.02, just that the sign would change. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 minus 3 doesn't work. That's 5. 10 minus 3 is 7. Um, 5 minus 7 doesn't work. So that becomes 7. This becomes 15. 15 minus 7 is 8. 7 minus 5 is 2. And the 2 carries over. So basically, the enthalpy of formation now becomes minus 
228.7 kilojoules. And the closest answer to that is option A, minus 228.8 kilojoules. So therefore, option A turns out to be the right option. The other options B and C are incorrect because they involve adding the two quantities. Um, and option C has a plus sign, which is also incorrect. So the right answer is option A, minus 228.8 kilojoules. Now that concludes this particular episode of the workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then don't forget to press the bell icon below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert. Bye-bye for now.